Recently, the struggle for Palestinian human rights gained international attention surrounding a new icon of resistance, 16-year-old Ahed Tamimi. On December 15, Hamid point blank in the face with a rubber bullet, causing severe internal bleeding. A few days later, Ahed was violently arrested in the middle of the night in a raid by dozens of soldiers. And just days into 2018, the first Palestinian teen killed by Israeli forces in the West Bank was Ahed's other cousin, Musaab Tamimi. He was shot at close range by soldiers raiding their village. Ahed's arrest and imprisonment by the Israeli army has drawn ire from the international community and attention to the brutal military occupation, in particular its treatment of children, up to 700 of which are processed through Israeli military courts every year some as young as 12. Hello everyone, my name is Owen McQuaid. I'm originally from Tala, living in Clondalkin, and I'm here today outside our beautiful GPO in O'Connell Street to call on the Irish government to make sure the hegemonic brutality of Israel doesn't continue any longer and doesn't allow children like Ahed, 16 years of age, to go under military trial and detention for trying to protect her family and her homeland. We understand this oppression, this dehumanization and subjugation in this country. We have a long history of fighting against it. We should all stand together. Free our head, free Palestine. solidarity um, with Palestine and with Ahed in particular because anybody who's living under a regime that's as oppressive as this kind of deserves fundamental human rights and need to know that they're not alone like people are watching people do have their eyes on it um, and that the IDF can't just you know throw people in prison for something as small as this uh, and I think it's important especially for young people to get behind it because she is so young herself because Especially in a country like Ireland that has such an oppressive history and um, has a history of colonisation, we have to stand up and kind of speak for people who cannot find their voice anymore because it's been taken away from them. We're here today to show our solidarity for Ahed Tamimi, a 16 year old minor who's been held by the Israeli occupation forces. And it's, it's an absolute, absolute disgrace, disgrace. and uh, it's, it's an honour in a way to stand here, uh, it's cold and it's wet, uh, but it's an honour to stand here in uh, solidarity with such a brave uh, young person. And I hope the whole Palestinian people, um, we here in Ireland feel very much for them, and, and we're, we're, we're glad uh, that uh, we, we have the opportunity to show that solidarity with them. Um, really, it is a disgrace, and I think the ambassador uh, should be expelled from uh, this country. It's the only way that the state here can show that it's seriously in support of Palestine is to expel the ambassador. But, but the state, state doesn't, doesn't do that, that. So, so we are here, here at least to show our solidarity. And lots of people passing in the street have expressed their solidarity to Tamimi, uh, I'm the chair of Ireland Palestine Solidarity Campaign. I am Palestinian. Uh, my father is from Hebron and my mother from Gaza. Um, uh, just to give you a small background, it's 100 years this year. Uh, we mark 100 years since uh, the Balfour uh, Declaration, uh, uh, 70 years since the Nakba, when seven, uh, seven, 700,000 Palestinians were forcibly removed from their home for the establishment of the Israeli uh, state. Uh, and we commemorate as well 50 years of 
uh, occupation uh, since the Israelis uh, apartheid regime uh, continued there what they started in 1948 and uh, occupied the West Bank uh, and Gaza. Uh, till today uh, we are still occupied and uh, Palestinians live in Israel uh, itself as uh, second-class citizens, they have no rights. Uh, Palestinians live in the occupation, uh, under the occupation, under brutal uh, military regime in the West Bank. And of course, my family in Gaza, who lives under the siege uh, for the past uh, 11 years at the moment, uh, which I haven't seen my lots of my family uh, for a few years now because of this uh, illegal siege on Gaza. Uh, despite all this. Uh, we Palestinian uh, live and love, and we continue to live. We uh, stay, uh, uh, they can't uproot us uh, from our homeland, and uh, we will keep going. Uh, we're here today uh, in support of uh, Ahdet Tamimi, uh, asking, uh, raising awareness here on the streets uh, to tell people about uh, Ahdet Tamimi and how she was uh, abducted by the Israelis uh, and put in jail, uh, detained, and the other uh, more than 300 uh, uh, children prisoners who uh, Palestinians face daily in the occupied uh, Palestine. Uh, these children, uh, they uh, get detained, um, detained by the Israeli apartheid regime, put in jail uh, for uh, throwing stones or wherever. They uh, just abduct them from their parents, uh, snatching uh, during daylight, and they could uh, uh, come and raid uh, during night raids to take them and uh, put them away in Israeli jails. So we are uh, raising awareness and we're, uh, we're uh, uh, asking the Irish government to, to do something to end this uh, apartheid uh, practice, this uh, illegal uh, practice, and free all uh, Palestinian children prisoners. Thank you. Okay, we're here in solidarity with our inspiring young girl uh, from Palestine, Ahed, who's uh, standing up to power, uh, standing up to the the uh, disgraceful treatment of the Palestinian people, uh, a, a treatment that has been financed by the biggest power in the world, the United States. Um, she's just an inspiration for young people. It's very necessary for young people to stand up against the future that's been uh, laid out for them. It's been laid out in the Middle East and we must remember that the so-called process in the Middle East is also a model for Ireland, has been a model for South Africa. The whole thing has fallen apart and shown how rotten it is, how, how rotten the idea of a peace with imperialist domination is. Uh, what you have is war and oppression, the destruction of whole cities, ancient cities like Baghdad, uh, Damascus, and now they're moving on to Iran. Um, I think that young people in particular, it's their future, they should look to this young woman uh, and uh, get inspiration from her courage and her determination to stand up to, against, stand up for our, stand up for future, stand up for our generation. Um, uh, it's a very serious situation we are globally. Uh, people have, haven't even noticed that uh, the United States is practicing nuclear war in, in, in the heart of Europe. That's all of a piece with their whole concept of full spectrum domination, global domination by one power, and it's running into uh, the prospect of war spreading right across the globe. For the last 70 years, Palestinians have been unfairly treated by the Israeli forces of occupation. Only recently, this young 16 year old girl was arrested by Israeli forces and her cousin shot dead in Palestine. I think it's important for students like me and skills around Dublin and all around Ireland to protest and be aware of what's going on in Palestine. As here in Ireland, we suffered over the last 800 years much the same. The Palestinian people are suffering now at the hands of occupation forces. Okay, free Palestine. Okay, we from Jabo here and we, we um, 
Palestinian uh, my family all uh, lived in 1948 in uh, Jabu which they called now Tel Aviv and I live in Dublin for the last 19 years uh, and, and we're here today to uh, free uh, 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 Ahdi Tamimi she's been arrested by the uh, Zionist uh, Israeli soldiers for no reason and she's only was defending herself and she's only uh, underage uh, she's only a kid like and uh, we're here protesting in uh, Dublin Street there to, uh, uh, to stand by her and to ask for a uh, free, free Amimi uh, from the from the chair. chair. My name is Anne Conway. I'm a retired teacher. I live in Johnny Carney in Dublin. I'm here today calling for the freedom and the release from jail immediately of Ahed Tamimi, who has been unjustly incarcerated by the Israeli forces in Palestine. They are occupying Palestine and they are attempting to destroy their, her village. She is an inspiration to many millions of young people and people who are resisting oppression the world over. So I, as a teacher, I believe that young students have a particular role to play because they can adopt uh, Ahed as a prisoner of conscience and show the world that Irish students, but students internationally, have a voice against the injustice that's been delivered to the Palestinian people since 1948. That was the year of my birth. And since that time, Palestine people have actually been subjected to people without a state, without nationhood, to live in refugee camps the world over. And Ahed, in this year of 2018, is fighting against that injustice. She's an inspiration to us all. I feel so proud to be here to stand with her in solidarity.